Have you met the new transfer student yet? I think the two of you might get along pretty well. Yeah, I could see that. He's kind of strange though, don't you think? Huh. And speaking of the devil... Hey, Tsukano! I'm Shibiyama, and this here is Hosotani. Both of us are in your homeroom class. How do you like the new school so far? I really love it here. And not just the school, the whole town's the best. I think there might be a few mysterious things hiding around the area. Wait, really? I don't know. I've lived in this town since I was a baby. Trust me when I say there's nothing interesting. Sorry, but she's right. Honestly, it's a pretty boring place to live. We have put together a group of people interested in exploring the more unusual things in life, though. We call it the Supernatural Club. Sounds cool, huh? What do you think? Would you maybe consider joining it? We promise it's not dumb or anything. Are you serious? I'm totally into joining. I love weird and creepy stuff like that. Welcome aboard. In that case, I can let you in on a secret. He actually has special abilities. <laughs> He's even gonna be on TV soon. What? It's nothing too flashy, I promise. I don't have crazy superpowers or anything like that. Wow, I don't care. That's still so cool. You've got to show me. How about we have a little welcome party for you after school's out? I can show you during that. I can't believe I just started here and I'm already seeing awesome stuff. Ah! Huh. What is it? Take a look at this. What a strange flower. Huh? It's an eyeball. When did odd plants like that start growing on campus? Uh, they're so gross. This town is incredible. I'm going to have so much fun here. <laughs> La, 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 la. Everyone, listen up. I'd like to introduce the newest member of the Supernatural Club. This is Skano. Nice to meet you. And you as well. Let's start by talking about this flower. I actually dissected another one that I picked earlier, and the inside looked exactly like a human eyeball. There must be a reason they're growing. Curious. <sighs> Wish I had your gift. Do you see something? I do. There's a spirit here that can't move on, that of a warrior. I'm sensing that several cursed souls have inhabited these plants and started a colony. <gasps> Do you mean to tell me that you can see spirits? It's not that big a deal. Uh. <laughs> <clears throat> Bravo! That gets me every time, isn't it cool? Oh man, definitely. Hey, what do you say, Shibiyama? Can I have a try? Do huh? you have powers too? <laughs> I don't know, but there's only one way to find out, right? <laughs> yeah, that's true. You won't really know unless you try it. Okay, Skano. You're gonna want to start by picturing the spoon broken in your mind. Concentrate on that image and block out the rest of the world. Break, Spoon. Break just like his did. Huh? <gasps> Holy crap, that happened so fast! I can't believe both of you can do this! <laughs> no, 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 you're wrong. I was just fooling around. I'll show you. I bend the spoon's neck until it weakens. See? Back and forth, back and forth, until it'll break at the slightest touch. And then when I pretend to be concentrating, watch this. It snaps. Huh? 
But I didn't see you do that. Yeah, it looked like you just picked up one of Shibayama's spoons. Hiding that move is easy enough if you practiced. Magicians do this sort of thing all the time, you know. Huh? Don't be mistaken. The only thing I use to break the spoon is my mind. I don't fake anything. Yeah, of course, I know that. It's the whole reason I had to cheat. I don't have any extraordinary mental powers like you do. He's right. Don't worry, no one here thinks you've been pretending. <laughs> we believe you. Well, this is rare. Oh. It feels like I never see you by yourself. Oh, hi, Kitagawa. Where's Shibiyama hiding? He's off doing some mental training. He didn't want your help this time? Well, I kind of got the feeling he wanted to be alone. <laughs> I'm honestly not surprised by that. Between you and me, I think the transfer student really shook him up. Uh, what are you talking about? That spoon joke yesterday? Skano managed to pull off the same trick Shibiyama does. Sort of, but it wasn't the same thing at all. Sure, let's hope not at least. Hold on. Please tell me you're not suggesting that Shibiyama's a liar or something. No, wait a sec. You've got it all wrong. Yo! <laughs> I've been looking everywhere for you guys and the rest of the club. I wanted to talk to Shibiyama, but he wouldn't answer me when I called. Unfortunately, I didn't have anyone else's number. Anyway, I found the greatest thing on my morning walk. Your town has the most beautiful waterfall I've ever seen. A what? Yeah, you know, the one up the trail north of the school. Don't tell me you guys have never seen it before. There's a waterfall up there? Guess so. Wait, are you being serious? That's great, actually. We'll go check it out as a club after school. Are you sure you weren't just seeing things? We run this trail when we do the school marathon in the spring, and I've never seen a waterfall around here. That's so weird. I can't believe you somehow missed it every year. There, you can hear the water flowing if you listen. He's right. It sounds like a waterfall. Where'd it come from? It's almost like it appeared out of nowhere. There's only one possibility. Think about it. Something supernatural must be happening here. Oh good, Shibiyama. You've been so quiet the last few days, I'm glad you started talking again. Yeah, I was starting to get kind of worried about you too. I thought you'd gone and taken a vow of silence so you could focus on your mental powers like some kind of monk. No, don't worry, it's nothing like that. The truth is, I've been pretty concerned lately. Concerned? What's on your mind? It's just that... Well, I guess I'm afraid a Ben Spoon won't surprise anybody, you know? Seems like it doesn't impress people much. I'm gonna have to figure out a new trick to keep everybody interested. Look in front of you. Everything you need is right here. Huh? Earlier today, I stood under the water on those rocks over there. It was kind of dangerous, sure, but totally worth it. You won't believe what happened to me! What? Tell us! Watch this! <gasps> Skano, how the hell did you shoot that bird down? Well, I'm pretty sure it's because of the waterfall. I think that if you stand underneath it, you're granted some kind of special power like I just used. I can't believe it. Okay, class. I have something important to ask you, so listen closely. You've probably realized this yourselves by now, but your classmate Shibayama has been absent from school for the last several days. If anyone has any idea where he might be, please let me know. I don't get it. Where do you think Shibayama went? So many strange things have been happening lately. First, it was those gross eyeball plants growing. Then that waterfall that just appeared. I'm having trouble wrapping my head around it all. Could you use your abilities, Kitagawa? Maybe spirits could help us find him. Um, I guess I do sense something unpleasant in the area. In fact, I feel his aura coming from this direction. I'm certain of it. Shibiyama is trapped at the bottom of the waterfall. Please tell me you're joking. You must have made a mistake, Kitagawa. Not possible. My abilities are telling me he's underneath the water. Then we have to get down there and help him. No, I'm afraid it's far too late for that. His spirit's bound to this location forever. Besides, it'd be impossible to retrieve his body from the bottom of that pool. <laughs> Shibiyama! We all know he was worried that we didn't believe in his powers, right? Maybe the pressure was just too much for him, and he threw himself into the water to escape from it. Oh, look! Up there! I can see his spirit! Kitagawa, no. You've got it all wrong. What do you mean? Shibiyama didn't commit suicide. Okay, then how did he drown? I think he wanted to stand underneath the waterfall. 
He thought that doing so would boost his power or give him a new one that he could show off. But it's slippery there and he fell. This can't be real. I can't shake the feeling that even more scary things are going to happen to us sometime soon. Hey! <laughs> you guys won't believe this! Whoa, what's wrong, Scano? I found the craziest thing! I was on a walk and saw something amazing! You guys gotta come see it! What did you find this time? It's a mysterious lake that appeared about a kilometer from here, and there's something strange inside it! What kind of thing? See? This is it! No! This can't be real! There was a whole neighborhood here before! Where are the houses? And the people who lived in them? They could have just disappeared! And wait till you see what's in the water! I swear I wouldn't have believed it if I hadn't seen it with my own eyes earlier! Stop it, Skano! Don't you care that Shibayama might be dead? We think he drowned! It's your fault! You're the one who took him to that waterfall and told him all that weird stuff about powers! Wait, I don't like what you're insinuating. It's like you're saying it's my fault that he died or something. We don't know he's dead for sure! <laughs> you're right, relax, Hasotani. For all we know, he's alive and well and just hiding from us. <laughs> you monster! What are you laughing about? I can't believe you guys are starting to lose your nerve. Aren't you supposed to be the Supernatural Club? Don't you want to see some extraordinary things that can't be explained? Your hearts should be racing in anticipation of what I have to show you. You aren't going to believe your eyes, I promise you that. You should be trying to enjoy all these things I'm introducing you to. Of course they may be a little dangerous, but that's all part of the thrill, isn't it? Yeah, if you're afraid of stepping outside your comfort zone, then you shouldn't go looking for supernatural things! <laughs> to show the club! It's been alive since prehistoric times! There's a legitimate dinosaur that lives inside this lake! All this stuff happened after he transferred. He's the one to blame for everything! Somehow he's doing this! I mean, I get what you're saying, but how is it even possible that he can make things like that waterfall appear out of thin air? I'm telling you, it's Skano's fault. He's behind all this strangeness! <sighs> Who's at the door this late at night? Hey. Hey. Open the door. It's me, Shibayama. Let me in. Shibayama? Oh, thank goodness. He must be okay I'm then. coming! Hold on a sec! Open the door. Please, come back. It sounds like Shibayama, but that couldn't really be him, could it? It almost looked like a zombie that came out of the water. There. Hey. Hey guys, I was in tutoring super late, and when I got back, these huge statues were here instead of my neighborhood. So weird. Wow, uh, you guys are here too? The Supernatural Club really is on top of mysterious things in this town. Look at these things! Can you believe how big they are? Kitagawa, listen to me! It's him! He's the one causing all this! Skano's remaking this town into some kind of bizarre world of his own! You can't actually think I'm the one who's making any of this cool stuff happen. I'm completely innocent. Really, all I do is take walks and keep my eyes peeled for weird things. It's not like I have the power to make monuments appear out of nowhere. <gasps> <laughs> Man, looks like Shibayama got pretty bloated before coming back to life. That isn't possible. Shibayama... There's no way you can't really be him! Ah, that was amazing! You must have spent so much time in the water that you gained an incredible power, even if you are just a walking corpse who's foaming at the mouth now! <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> I'm not gonna let you outshine me. I'll kill you for sure this time, Shibayama! Whoa, that was super impressive. You're a great shot, Kitagawa. <laughs> and I know you got that fancy new power from the waterfall. I was watching you. I saw the entire thing. Shibiyama went there to get power for himself, but you snuck up and pushed him in. Then you went under the waterfall yourself. My whole spirit sense may have been a sham, but it doesn't matter because what I have now is real power. So I had an audience that night, huh? I gotta say, I like this bizarro world of yours, Skano. It's fun. Why don't you and I turn this stupid town into our own personal playground? <laughs> Oh, poor, poor Kitagawa. I won't do that. I'm gonna have to say no. Sorry to disappoint. The next day, Skano transferred to another school somewhere else. The town quickly returned to normal. But Shibayama never came back to us. And eventually, Kitagawa stopped showing up at school too. There were rumors, of course. From what I heard, he ran off in order to track down Skano. I wonder, is that transfer student still out there? Is he discovering strange things at his new school? And reshaping another town like he did ours? It's difficult, but burying Yuki's remains will ensure that she makes it to heaven. Yuki! What are you doing here? I brought some flowers for Yuki. <gasps> this is all your fault! If you hadn't come into her life, my daughter would still be alive today! You can't lay this on me. If you just approved of our marriage, Father- Don't you dare call me that! Uh, Go away! You don't understand how much I loved her. If you ever come back after today, you're dead! Yuki, it's me. Sweetheart, there was no need for you to die. Uh, frightened of a little scarecrow? Good! Maybe it'll keep the trash like you away! I'll be going. Yuki, it really is you. My dear daughter, tell me you recognize your father. Answer me, please. Yeah, it does look exactly like her. A great artist must have done it. Everyone, I believe that my daughter's soul has inhabited this scarecrow. I'm grateful. It's like she's alive again. Unfortunately, she won't talk to me, no matter what I say. I took her home earlier, but she quickly turned back into a regular scarecrow. Yuki's face disappeared when we left the cemetery. And so, I placed her near her grave and dressed her in the clothes she liked in life. Don't they look good on her? You've got to stop this madness. It's disrespectful and insane to put a scarecrow on someone's grave. I'm not putting it here so it'll become Shigeru. I just want to see my baby's face again. Don't you realize how screwed up this is? How can scarecrows look like people who've died? Damn it, are you sad that he's gone? Do you care? You have no idea what I've gone through. Can't you let me have this one thing? Is there some reason you don't want me to be happy? Okay, fine. If it means that much to you, then do it. I'm back, Yuki. Yuki. 
Yuki, you're alive. Will you marry me? I don't give a damn what your father says. You mean that? Yes. I'll never let you go. Even if that's me? <gasps> it was a dream? Wait. Why was I sleeping here in the cemetery? I remember coming here during the day, but I'm sure I went home afterward. <gasps> such a horrible face at us. Don't ask me, I have no idea. I told you we shouldn't have put this damn thing here. He's looking right at you. It's your eyes playing tricks. Uh, it's time we get rid of this monstrosity. No, put him down. Uh, let me go. Uh, 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 uh. I get it now. You murdered our Shigeru, didn't you? dead. 